Hey, what's up? And welcome to another Quick Riffs, where I teach and explain songs I was a part of or riffs or songs that I loved growing up that I think have cool riffs and parts or theories or methods that I think would be important to learn for your guitar playing journey. And today we're taking a look at one called Losing My Mind from Kamira's The Age of Hell record, 2011 release. And I think this one is a perfect one because I get asked a lot, well, not a lot, but often, you know, what's a good Kamira song to learn that, you know, for, for, I'm just kind of getting started or what's one to, to, to break in with or whatever. Because some of them can be more challenging, some of them can be more complicated, but this right here, Losing My Mind, is the perfect tune. I've come to realize after we just did the tab for it, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but uh, this one really only has about three riffs, three main riffs, a couple variations, they're all easy riffs. The solo is easy, so we're gonna go over the whole thing riff by riff, including that solo. I'm gonna show you how you can get the tab and it's gonna be a breeze. So let's get into it. First, we are tuned to drop C, C, G, C, F, A, D, low to high. So as I mentioned, there are really only three riffs. We got the intro riff. the verse riff. And we got the chorus riff. So let's get right into it. And I wanted to talk about the tablature here a little bit because this just became available over in my Patreon community. And this is a guitar pro version. You can get two versions of PDF, which is just, you know, reading it and can be read basically on any computer. And then there is this guitar pro version, which basically takes the PDF and puts it into musical form here. So you can hear this. Here's that riff. <laughs> So it basically plays the tab back for you. I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, 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 I know. But there are a few of you that don't know about this and you can get the app for your phone for like seven bucks or something. So if you were interested on my site I, and you know, there are millions of guitar profiles across the internet everywhere and you can play any of them, um, you know, through the guitar pro software for the app for your phone or desktop. Uh, and it's, it's just really killer because it takes, it takes that PDF and puts it into something that you can actually hear. And I mean, imagine if you've never even heard the song, but you had to learn it, how incredible that could be to actually hear a representation of it. I remember learning songs back in the day from tab books that I had never heard, and you, just, you can't really get a good sense of the rhythm or the feel. Um, so this is just really, really cool. So um, we'll, we'll reference this a couple times to kind of play along with, but uh, that first riff there, we're gonna start on 13 on the sixth string. And what makes this riff a bit of a challenge is that there are actually 10 picks of this 13th fret. So I kind of think of it as like eight and then an extra two. So that'd be five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a couple more. And then we hit into the open. But we're bending up a little bit on the last two. So that number 9, 10 pick, I'm bending slightly, just a quarter bend tops. It wouldn't be a half step, That's that pitch is too high, you hear that, we're not going, which would be, we're going just a quarter. So that takes some discipline. And even if you didn't want to bend it, it's still a good exercise just to go get that picking down. So here's the best sound. We come in uh, with the second guitar, just a simple, easy little harmony. Chords there, three and five. 
Time zone. Into the first. Dig it in, dig it in, dig it in. We do a little panning trick there. I would do one side and stop. Matt would do the other side and stop. You can hear that. Uh, right here. is uh, just a little dive. If you don't have a whammy bar, you can just kind of go, <laughs> kind of bend your neck if you can. Or sometimes I'll just, you could slide down from 12, lots of ways to get around that. Or just don't do a dive if you don't feel like it. So we uh, pick up on the drums in that verse a little bit and come up with a little tail. Comes chorus. Anyways, six, five, six, five, five, four, five, four. And then put a little harmony on that. Four frets up. So instead of one and so it sounds like this. Two, three, four. Cool little harmony. Chorus couldn't be easier. Oh. heavier version. Just strum it like this. In which case, just doing the power chords. In the tabs here, we've got these chords. Which make it a lot fuller. Basically, every chord of that is the root, the fifth, the octave of the root, and then the octave of the fifth. So it's a big chord. Another way you can do it is simply to do the octave chords. And all of these things that I'm doing here, these harmonies are great tricks to apply to your music. No matter what you're doing, whatever riff, just making this up. You got two guitarists in the band, have one guitarist doing that same thing. Any variation of it, the other guitarist is going. hitting the right notes. Uh, so, so yeah, just cool tricks you can do to beef stuff up. Um, then we're gonna uh, go through another verse and chorus and break into the bridge. Just a little scrubbing pattern. So, and the harmony of that is doing a cool uh, dissonant harmony. For one, here's what that sounds like. So 
So again, just rad that you can refer to Guitar Pro like that, play along with it, speed it up, slow it down, put a metronome on, anything you want to do. Uh, solo, check out how easy this guy is. big out there. One little thing about that solo, it's got um, a higher octave on it the whole time, so you can choose to play whichever you like. And here in the tab, it's represented. I know it's hard to see there, but those little, little ghost notes. So the whole thing's got an octave on it. Like. So just kind of cool. And then finally, we're almost done. One little variation at the end. Yeah, so. 10, 8, 5. Pretty cool. Simple as that. Losing my mind from the age of hell with this video. I also, uh, no, I don't have a playthrough of it. Anyways. This video, the tab, I know you guys are gonna uh, be able to crush this one. And like I said, learn it, pick up some new skills here or there, or maybe not. Oh, I got plenty of other ones. Try the Stig Murder with scrolling tab. It might be a tougher one, you know? But uh, anyways, I hope this satisfies some of you guys out there. Um, and if you're looking for more, I mean, please explore the channel. I got tons of lesson videos on here, more from the Quick Rick series and my guitar instructional DVD, which I'm looking to get out there. Check it out right now, $24.99. Get three free of my uh, custom picks. Worldwide shipping, free shipping, all that. Check it out, link in the description below. If you're interested in the tabs, you can get them by joining my Patreon community, patreon.com slash Rob Arnold World. Check that out. You sign up, you get instant access. Like I said, you already got Guitar Pro, you can download it. Links for all those things in the description. Guitar Pro, Patreon, my DVD, guitar lessons, everything I mentioned, it's there just like always. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Check out the song on Spotify if you're not uh, familiar with it. Maybe, maybe you'll dig it. All right, see you in the next one.